stuck on what to write on your captions on your Instagram post for your small business, you know you're supposed to show your personality, get a little personal to engage your audience, but you really don't wanna show photos of your kids. I mean, you've got great photos, but what in the world are you supposed to put in the captions to give away your personality, but not give too much? Watch this video to get five hacks on writing great personal Instagram captions without giving away too much. My name's Meredith, and this is the Meredith Callaher Show where we talk about marketing plans for small business. I believe that hope isn't a strategy. You have to put a plan in place for success. If creating your Instagram captions is slowing you way down from having an awesome content marketing strategy on Instagram, then this video is for you. By the end of the video, I've given you five hacks to create great, awesome Instagram captions so you really share your personality with your audience and engage them because remember, engagement turns our followers into customers. Last week, I shared the Instagram marketing strategy that I use for two Instagram accounts, both the Scout Guide Miami, TSG Miami, and Meredith Callaher. In that strategy, I explained that I go by a general rule of thumb for content. I post 33% educational content, 33% lifestyle, meaning what lifestyle will my followers have if they work with me, and then 33% personal. I try to let my followers get to know me, engage with me, so they feel comfortable like becoming part of my TSG Miami and Meredith Callaher family, and then in the future that will lead them to become my customers as well. So this video we're talking about the personal post, the 33% personal, and I wanna show you that with any great photo that you have, you can turn that into a personal post. On these five hacks that I'm about to give you, imagine that you have a great photo of yourself. And if you just are totally against posting a photo of yourself, I get it. I hate posting photos of myself some days. I've kind of gotten over it and I just do it. This actually could work with a photo of an object as well. So if you have a great photo, say of this bush behind me, for instance, that is beautiful, it's lit perfectly, there's maybe some little moisture drops on those leaves, then you can use these five content packs for your captions with any photo really. All right, so let's dive in. Hack number one, give me two lines of your favorite song. Yep, two lines of song lyrics. And then I want you to tell me why you love that song. Just one line, one sentence, why you love that song. And then where were you the first time you remember hearing that song? In this caption trick, you're just telling us a story about you. And then at the end, you can engage the audience and say, what is your favorite song? This song lyric caption can go with a photo of you. It could go with a gorgeous photo of the leaves. It could go with a photo of the album cover, right? Just make sure that it's a, a beautifully taken photo. For me, this caption would look like this. All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. I like watching the petals gather rain. And all I can do is just pour some tea for two and speak my point of view, but it's not sane. It's Not Sane by Blind Melon. I listened to that song riding around in my white Honda Civic that my friends called the party egg by myself on the back roads of Oxford, Mississippi when I was stressed out from a college class. What is your favorite song? Question mark. See, that caption gives a little bit insight. Maybe it tells you my age. It might tell you where I went to college, but it's just fun and gives people insight to who I am or who I was. Pack number two, I want you to tell me something you love or don't love about the outfit that you're wearing and where you would rather be wearing it. Here's an example. I love these heels so much. I sure wish I was wearing them out to a night with my husband, but instead, I am headed to the PTA meeting. So that just shows you my new shoes, maybe what kind of style that I like. It shows you that I love going out with my husband, but that I'm also a good PTA member, right? Right. Number three, post a photo and tell me what we don't see in the photo and how it makes you feel. What you don't see is the trash bags behind me filled with at least a hundred rotten, sweet smelling, fly infested mangoes 
that fell while I was on vacation last week. Note to self, do not schedule a summer vacation until mango season is done. The guilt of so much waste is way too much to bear. And this strategy of telling me or the reader what we don't see in your photo and how it makes you feel really engages the follower, makes them use their mind to picture what else could be in the photo. And then it for sure gives us insight into your personality, right? You see that, I mean, some people might be totally grossed out by those uh, fly infested mango but it seriously gives me so much guilt that I let one mango go to waste. So for sure that shows you who I am, right? Crazy or not. Hack number four, first, last, best, worst. Look at a photo and if you can't think of anything, think about the first time you experienced something with that photo, the last time that you experienced it, the best or the worst. Check this photo out. The first time I saw my first house in Miami was the day we moved in. We made a quick move, so we put a deposit on our rental house, sight unseen in Coconut Grove. It was December 29th, 2011, and when I turned the corner on my new street, Poinciana Avenue, there was a woman in a bikini watering her lawn and seven peacocks strutting their stuff down the road. I called my best friend and said, OMG, I'm having a panic attack. I've moved to a tropical paradise in perpetual summer. It is so surreal. I like this. It shows you that my first experience in Miami, I was very naive to where we were moving, right? And it also maybe showed you that I was a little brave. I was agreed to move into a house sight unseen, thousands of miles from where I'd called home for a while in Dallas. So this is a great strategy to let people get to know you. My fifth Instagram caption hack is a magnetic strategy. Everybody would like to have a magnetic personality, right? That we just attract people to us. But do you know what else that means? That we also repel people. And that works really well on Instagram. You really do want to get rid of those people that aren't interested in working with you that don't care about your business let's tell them bye bye and good riddance because you know what honestly they mess up your logarithm like Instagram only shows our posts to a percentage of our followers so we don't need Instagram showing our posts to people that aren't interested in us anyway so let's use a magnetic caption to repel those people and the best way to do that is to take a stand so when you take a stand on something that you believe in, now you have to for sure believe in this or it doesn't really work, you need authenticity or people will see right through that, then the people that love us, it really does attract them to us and makes them become raving fans. And for those of us that maybe disagree, then it repels them and they get on with their business. The fun part about this is it can be very serious. You can tell me how you feel about today's politics and I mean, you will repel some people quickly. I do caution you on that. You might lose people that even agree with you just because they don't wanna hear about politics on social media, but it could be about something going on in your neighborhood, at your school, or it could be silly. You know, take a stand on something that you believe in. Check this out. My top five favorite lunches in Miami includes a gyro from our daily bread. You would not believe how many people say that sandwich name incorrectly. The G is silent, you guys. It's pronounced Euro and not Giro. Honestly, I think our daily bread should have a policy that if you do not order the sandwich by saying the name correctly, the price is double. What does that caption say about me? That I love a good Greek sandwich, that I'm a little feisty, maybe a little crazy, but I'm willing to say what I believe on Instagram and sometimes that that authenticity can be appreciated. You guys, it's so important to show your followers your personality on Instagram. That truly is the way to engage them and turn them from followers into customers. And the best way to engage people is to tell them a story. So use those Instagram captions to do that. And if you get stuck, go back to my five prompts to write great captions for your Instagram business account. Have a great day and let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks.